Hi, my name's Ben Howard, and I'm going to walk you through exporting tasks from Microsoft Planner into a spreadsheet and then importing those and potentially multiple plans into Power BI so that you can end up with a report like this, which is my planner report, which of course has the same look and feel as the charts in Microsoft Planner, but allows you to look at multiple plans. So here I've only just got one plan, it's called demand, but I could have many plans in there. So if you like, it provides you not quite an enterprise reporting for all of your planner plans, but it does allow you to consolidate them in one place. So. How do we get started? Well, first of all, of course, we go over to Planner. And in Planner, we've got some tasks here. And as part of the functionality of Planner, then you can click on the three dots or the ellipses, and you can say export plan to Excel. So that happens fairly quickly. And you can see the Excel file contains the name of the plan. So in this case, this is called public plan. So therefore, the Excel file is called public plan .xls. I've actually exported this a few times. So it's called public plan two .xls. Let's just open up that plan in Excel. And you can see the columns and data that's exported. So we have task names, bucket names, progress, priority, etc. Now, if you're doing this in a language which isn't English, you'll see some other information. So let's just have a look at that. And let's assume that I'm now working in France and my language is French. So this is the same plan, but you can see that some of the terminology changes within the plan as well. And of course, when I export, I export the plan to Excel using this uh, French phrase here. I won't bother exporting it again. So of course, the other thing you can do is open your planner plan in Teams. Now, here is the planner plan in Teams, but you'll notice that if I click on the three ellipses here, there isn't the option to export the plan to Excel. And so you really got to go into the Teams interface to do that. Okay, so let's go and have a look at some of these exported files. Now, I've got a different set of files here for different language exports. But if I click in here, which is planner exported files, then you can see that I've actually got five different separate exported planner plans. And this is really what you want to do. You want to export all of your files into a certain path. The path that I've chosen here is this one. And what I'm going to do is just right click that path and copy that so that it's saved in my clipboard. So now I'm going to open up the Power BI template file. The version I'm using is Planner version 6.pbit. Now this file asks me for a couple of parameters. The first is the path to the Planner files. So I can just right click and I can paste in that path that I had copied before. The next thing it asks me for is a language. Now this language is only used to provide a sort order for, for priority because urgent comes before important and important comes before medium, etc, etc. Now, those priorities are defined in English, but I will redefine those if you like, if you do enter uh, the supported language. And at the moment, we're supporting English, Catalan, Dutch, French, German, Portuguese, stroke Brazilian, Spanish and Russian. So if you are using this in a different language and you've exported your planner plan in a different language, then please feel free to try that. And of course, feedback to me, Ben at Apple Park, if that's not working for you. So I'm then just going to click on load and that will go and import all of the planner plans in that folder. So in my case, it'll import those five or six plans that we've got. And so now you can see you can interact in Power BI looking across all of your planner plans. So if you needed to see all of the activities that were assigned to this guy called Ben Howard across all of the plans, then you could easily do that and see the status of those plans. OK, so that's Power BI template file. And of course, then you would just click on save to save that file in the usual way. And once that file is saved, then of course, you can publish that file in the usual way to your Power BI service.